How's it going, YouTube? Today I've got an unboxing to show you of the HDC XL with Beats. Uh, quickly looking around the box, you've got some serial information on the side, nothing on that side. HD Sensation XL with Beats Audio written on that side, and nothing again on that side. And you've got some basic product information on the back. So let's dive in. Now this one opens up from the side, so it's like a sleeve. And there's the main box. And we'll just have to get into that. Okay, let's get in there. And there we go. There it is. So it's presented really nicely in this box. You can see the Beats headphones just there and obviously the uh, HTC just in front. So let's see what else you get in the box. Nice weight to that as well. So, looks like the headphones are actually wrapped up inside that little pouch, so we'll have a look at that in a second. So looking inside the box, you get this real nice pouch. It's hard to describe what it's made out of. Uh, it's not quite plastic, it's not quite leather, but it's got a real nice soft feel to it. Um, Beats by Dr. Dre and Monster on top. Nothing on the back again, apart from your Beats. And there's the Beats logo there. So if we look inside, if yeah, it's a spring-loaded uh, little pouch. And looking inside the uh, pouch, you get different fitments for your headphones. And a little clip as well. So I'll put that to the side. You also get, I think it's kind of obvious what this is going to be, three plug charger, which is USB. We know what that is. And no doubt, USB to micro USB charger. Quite a long cable in there as well. Literature-wise, you get some Beats Audio uh, pamphlet. Congratulations on your purchase of your new multimedia superphone featuring Beats Audio. Finally hear what you've been waiting, um, finally hear what you've been missing. Great. Uh, warranty statement. Beats Audio guide, safety information and some contact information as well. So let's look at the phone and the headphones now. So let's get on with the headphones. Pop that out of there. And they kind of like put it through like a little cutout and pop them off. Right then. So obviously one end is your standard three and a half mil headphone jack. Nice red cable. And here's the actual controller. So looking at the controller. Now one thing I will say, it does the controller bit feels really, really plasticky. That's definitely not metal, that's uh, plastic. It feels like cheap plastic actually, which I'm a little bit surprised at. But hey, it doesn't matter about that as long as it clicks, which it does. You've got the fast forward rewind, play pause and answer button there. I guess these will... If you hold down, maybe it'll double up its volume. I'm not too sure on that one. Looking at the headphones themselves, they look really nice. And they've got a nice weight to them. They're quite heavy, which is normally a good sign of a decent headphone. You get the larger magnets in there. But they do look really, really nice. And obviously, right and left. Right, now let's look at the phone, and it's got the usual film on there, so let's peel that off. There we go. It's a really nice screen there, and that is a three points, uh, in fact, no, 4.7 inch screen, so that's absolutely massive. And it's got a resolution of 480 by, by 800 which might not sound a lot for a screen this size, giving you a pixel density of 199 pixels per inch, but because the screen is so large, you won't even notice uh, loss of pixels per inch. It just looks really, really nice. Um, so let's have a look around the actual phone. So starting with the top of the phone, you've got your usual mute silent button, well, lock button at the top. 
Looks like it's a microphone up there as well and a 3.5mm headphone jack. You've got a pro uh, proximity and light sensor there. 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. You've got some soft keys there as well. Home button, menu, back and search. Looking at the side, we've got the volume rocker switch. The underneath, just all it shows is the small release catch to open up the back. Looking at the side, you've got the micro USB charger port as well. And on the back, we have got an 8 megapixel camera and the rear speaker and dual LED lights as well, or flash, shall I say. Uh, the 8 megapixel camera does film in 720p as its highest resolution. Looking at the bottom, you've got HDC Sense Beats there as well. So let's get this opened up. And no doubt this will open up a bit like the sensation where half the, flow, the phone just splits in half. But we'll have a look. Yeah, and it does. So if you look at that, the phone just splits completely in half. Put that to one side. Battery, as usual, HTC fashion, comes with film wraps around it so it doesn't accidentally power itself on. Uh, don't need a SIM card. Not just yet anyway. This is just the unboxing. I'll bring you a full review soon. And make sure it's clipped in.